from the BMI. Yes, now I owe you a bit. Long time to be. Yeah. yeah. Have you been? I'm doing good. And how are you? Also doing good. Uh, just I've been traveling around a lot. Can take up the topic of the day, which is quite interesting. It is an undercover agent in a foreign country. Yeah. Let your imagination soar. Mm. What? What? You would be an undercover agent in a foreign country. Which which country would you pick? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll pick somewhere in Europe because if I'm going to a country as an undercover agent, I might as well travel that country. I, you know, just see the sights and all of that, and maybe some some country in Europe. Supposed to be an undercover agent, not a travel agent. So don't think like what. <laughs> But maybe let's say that I just get like one day off from my work, then I can just go travel around. Makes sense. Makes complete sense. Why not? If you get like uh. Two for the price of one. Yeah. Okay. So tell me, where you've located zero down in Europe? Are we that clear? Like, is that that what you're going for? I didn't get your question. I'm saying like you zero down in not Europe. That's not, like somewhere you want yeah. to be. Yes. What yes. To be there. Okay. So tell me, who who do you fancy as an undercover agent? Like, have you the prints that you have in mind? If if someone is an undercover agent, they're not supposed to reveal that they're an agent. But of course, of course that would be that would be. Yeah. So I was asking, do you have like an age? Like so, I grew up or uh, were fed a steady diet of James Bond. You were saying that now that you've zero like so like when I was growing up, I for me whenever I would hear the word spy. Like the first image I would pop up in my mind would that be of James Bond? Like that was our frame of reference. So similarly, is there any popular, you know, uh, reference that you have in mind? Um, I'm not really sure, but does Sherlock Holmes count? Sherlock Holmes counts. He counts. He is who? Like if not him, who else? Like he he's not a spy in the traditional sense, but I do get it. Like he's a detective, and yeah. he sometimes goes undercover. So hmm. that's great. That's uh, that's amazing. So okay. So now you're Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what about? So what do you think? Uh, what about Sherlock Holmes? Uh, do you like? Do you admire in terms of him being a agent? What about him? His presence of mind. I mean, he is such a good detective. Detective. He can just find out so many minute details, like really quick. His presence of mind. It's amazing. Yes. Yes. I think in fact that is the. That is the quintessential, like the essence of Sherlock Holmes, is that he has these eagle-eyed observations, right? So he can just yeah. scan you head to toe, and he'd be able to deduct, like he'd probably be able to map out your entire existence. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, so, if you're going to be as good as him, then it's then I'd have to be careful. <laughs> yeah. You'd you'd be able to uh, catch all if if I were to lie to you. Yeah. If they were, that's the first thing you'd know. <laughs> Tell me who would on whom would you want to use those skills? Is there any one particular person that you would want to examine, like the way Sherlock Holmes does? He comes from exactly, but I have a few friends whom I like to examine because sometimes I think they're planning events and you know things behind my back. I'd like to examine them. All right, that that's. I mean, you're making the most of your skills, but. <laughs> But but I'm not sure what your friends would think of it. So mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you want them to be inviting you to parties. You don't want to be the one who <laughs> who can yeah. scan their entire uh, like scan what is going on in their mind. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so we've, because again, I'm very sorry, Anuta. I know there's a lot. The class has been rather disturbed because of It's the okay. connectivity issues. We'll also very quickly take a look at the vocabulary for the day section. Yes. Yeah. The week, and then we'll come back to the topic hand because it is that <laughs> that much interesting. Yeah. So, since you are going to be Sherlock Holmes, I am pretty sure you wouldn't ever have to, uh, you wouldn't ever be uh, found doing this. But the word is over here. Over here, yeah, it means you like someone is talking, and you're just 
like not exactly listening, but you just yes. heard the noises just came into your ears automatically. Yeah. So over sorry, the, uh, the word in, over here is bang on when you're not doing it intentionally. Okay. You so like I overheard someone talking about something. Like you might overhear your friends talking about an event yeah. that they're planning behind your back. Yeah. But because you're Sherlock Holmes, you wouldn't have to do this thing, which is the word I wanted to uh, read out earlier, which is eavesdrop. Eavesdrop. Yeah. Yeah, so eavesdrop is when you do it intentionally. Intentionally, yes. When you're snooping on someone. Yeah. <laughs> Great. And then um, perceive. It means um, perceive, like to assume something, maybe. Yes. Um. I mean, close enough. But the dictionary meaning, which is uh, and also the meaning that's given here, is like to come up, says to come to an opinion about something. Or have a belief about something. So here, okay, I mean, possible, but yes. What you're saying is also right, but I think this is closer to it. But otherwise, when you perceive something, um, it also means like how we, uh, okay, so for instance, here's another word called scan, right? Hmm. So this means when you look at something carefully, which we're yeah. talking about Sherlock Holmes, yeah. And to perceive, I think that we'll have to look into it. I would say just do a double check on it because perceive okay. doesn't really mean what I think they've spelled out here uh, to come out with an opinion about something. That could be a perception. Like you have a perception about something. Like when you say, no, yeah. I have a perception. Like different perceptions, different. So in that sense, blended. That's a good word. Blended. Blended. Blend, blend in. Blend in. Oh, blended. Okay. To like, just mix up with the people around you so that you're not the odd one out. Yes, yes, wonderful. 